Welcome back to Kruznik Sanctuary, Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers, and the conclusion of the Shadowbringers storyline with patch 5.55, Death Unto Dawn, Part 2. Kruznik X here, along with Arya Stormborn, who's currently going through some shit. Um... Uh, so, in the last episode, we have now, um, well, the Grand Company of Eorzea is finally coming to fruition. Alphino's dream is finally being realized, again. Um, and Alphino is asking all former members of the Crystal Braves, what exactly went wrong with it? So, uh... I mean, we got some answers from Riol and Alion. I wonder if Graha and Alice had any luck, but... Let's move on with the level 80 quest on official business. Well, I think we have taken up enough of our colleagues' time. And I am conscious that less life-affirming testimonies await. Let's make way to Gridania. Let's make our way to Gridania and hear what the others have learned. All right. Wonder how packed it's going to be in Gridania. Wait, where the frick are we going? Well, they could have been specific that it was going to be old Gridania. Hey, Sumi! <laughs> Just fit... Figured I'd say hey in a spoiler tastic live stream. Sumi says hi. <laughs> what? He. All right, off to the Lancers Guild. All right. Did you take the Ethernet up? Oh, yep, there she goes. They're over here, love. All right, let's intelligence. We managed to track down a handful of former Braves without any great difficulty. Some were forthright, others less so. But we had enough to form a picture. I must warn you, Alphino, some of their comments were... harsh. I can well imagine. But their opinions are no less vital to my report. I seek the unvarnished truth. Thank you. I will set about adding your findings to my own at once. In the meantime, pray, go on ahead to Little Solus and seek out Elder Frixio. I will join you anon. Alright, we're off to the Hearthorn Hut. Actually, you know what? Let's take the fairy... Let's take the fairy porter only because... 
it's cheaper. <laughs> yeah, but we can't fly in town. Sweet Bloom Pier. I'm all, I've already got the car out and waiting for you. Oh yeah, they upgraded this. Like there is a lot more rumble now that... Like I can actually feel it now. So does it really have to be thunder and lightning? Yeah. I am glad that we can fly in a realm reborn areas now. Makes things a lot easier. Let's roll. This way, love. Oh, can... I don't think I need repairs, but I might as well make them anyway. Alright. Would you like to do the honors of being Elder Freaksio? Nice. Should this one perform the customary dance of greeting? <laughs> I got a bunch of maggots. That is heartening to hear, Elder. It will require all ones to work in unison to stop the Telophoroi. These ones will try very hard, of course. But in matters of war, these ones have little experience. Any advice walking ones can provide would be most welcome. Oh! Another pretty silver-haired one. And in quite a hurry, it seems. Alice, you must come quickly! Whatever's the matter, Alvino? Don't tell me. You couldn't read my handwriting. What? No! A twin adder officer accosted me as I was about to set out. Charlian has sent an envoy who is due to arrive in Gridania at any moment. An envoy? Could it be that Kryle has managed to sway the forum? We shall know soon enough, but there is more. The envoy has requested that the two of us attend the audience with the Elder Seeds here. Really? I can see why they might want Scions to be present, but us specifically? Wait, it isn't who I think it is. It is. I could scarce believe it myself, but when I inquired as to the envoy's identity, I was told that it was one Fortunal Levalier. Your father? Well now, 
The fact that a serving member of the form had journeyed here would be surprise enough. But him? Quite. I glean from this that they are taking the matter seriously. That may be. But why him and not one of the other 98 form members? Unless he volunteered for it. It has been some time since you since last you saw your father, has it not? Could it be that he has concern for your well-being? Perhaps. But he has always been reluctant to discuss his work with us. Indeed. Whenever we write to our parents, it is invariably our mother who replies. Nevertheless, I welcome the opportunity to meet him after so long, even if it is secondary to his true purpose here. Elder Fixio, loath though I am to cut our visits short, we must return to Gridania. Pray, accept my apologies, along with my report. Never mind. There will be time to talk later. This one will keep walking once for more urgent matters. Go. The audience will be held at the Lotus Stand, where the Elder Seed Seer awaits even now. Let us be on our way! Alright, back to Gridania. All right, this time we're headed to the Conjurer's Guild. How many irregular tombstones do I have left? Eight, okay. I figure I'll have more once the uh all right, off to the Conjurer's Guild. After you, Mademoiselle. Damn, if I wanted to, if I wanted to, like, clip some things, these transitions don't even give me a chance anymore. Anyway. Welcome, warrior of light. The Elder Seeds here and your friends are waiting within. Man, it's been a while since we've been to the Lotus Stand. Right, so, where is this guy? My friends, I thank you all for coming so swiftly. Word of Master Falchino's visit took us quite by surprise. When the Alliance granted Mrs. Cryo permission to request Charlene's aid, we did not anticipate so prompt a reply, much less that it would be delivered by a member of the Forum. What the nature of that may reply may be, we shall soon discover. Here he comes. Seeds here. I thank you for granting me this audience. I am Fortuno Levea, here in my capacity as representative of the Forum. It is I who should thank you, Master Fortuno, for journeying so far and so swiftly. 
Would that our first meeting could have been under happier circumstances. It has been too long, Father. You look well. As do you both. Amelians will be glad to hear that you are taking care of yourselves. Okay, so far so good. How is Mother? She misses Mother, you terribly, of course. But is otherwise a picture of health. Circumstances apart, I'm grateful that our meeting has afforded me the chance to be reunited with my children at long last. And I believe I also owe you thanks for the hospitality you showed my father, Louis Wa, during his sojourn in Eorzea. While I do... Okay, before we continue, while I do dig the outfit a little bit, I do without the top frill. Or whatever you're supposed to call that. Not, not the ascot. The ascot I can deal with. It's the rest of it. I mean, the... It's rather... Puritanical? Yeah. Like, if they just did that, but in... With, like, a more Sue-ish feel to it... I'd probably dig that a lot more. And maybe some different pants. All thanks we owe to him. In the days prior to the seventh Umbral Calamity... It was your father's tireless efforts which granted us a means to vanquish the primals. Were it not for him, our strength would have been quite spent by the time the Empire arrived. That Gridania still stands is in large part his achievement. He was a great man. Hmm. In more ways than one. He would doubtless have been moved to hear you say so. I must confess, however, that I opposed his decision to intervene. And my position remains unchanged. Here we go. To chart the course of history, not to change it. I am familiar with the Charlian stance. Oh, I have a feeling Connie's pissed. It's more than that. It is our way of life who we are. But I came here not to deliver a lecture, but the forum's answer to your request. Charlian will under no circumstances intervene in the conflict between Eorzea and the Garlian Empire. Here we go. May I ask for what reason the forum has come to this decision? The final days spell the end not only for Eorzea, but the entire world. Oh, Connie's pissed. The final days. Pray spare me your hyperbole. This conflict is no more than the latest in a series of petty squabbles between yourselves and Garnemald. One in which Charlian will take no part. <laughs> if the final days were truly upon us, we would. Would you? I doubt it. Father, you must ask the forum to reconsider. You may feel safe on your little island across the waves, but if you imagine the Telophoroi will leave you be, you are mistaken. They mean to kill us all, themselves included. Alphano is right. We have seen what the enemy is capable of, the lengths to which they'll go. This is no time to turn a blind eye. <laughs> if Eorzea falls, so too will Charlian. So if you truly love our homeland, you will join us. Now, before it's too late. <laughs> I thought you knew better than to raise your voice to your elders. It seems I was wrong. Wrong to ever let you leave. And Charlie. here we go. I consoled myself that your time abroad would instill in you some hint of restraint, of discipline. But I see now that Eorzea has made fools of you both. Have you forgotten why it was that I so vehemently opposed your grandfather's departure? Oh, boy. For all his wisdom, his only solution was to go to war. Death. 
devastation, ruin. Even those who claim victory are scarred for life. What prize could ever justify such sacrifice? It is the duty of the learned to avert such tragedy. By fanning the flames of war, you forsake all you once held dear. Oh, for fuck's sake. To ignore the plight of those who might, one might conceivably save is not wisdom. It's indolence. What? What are you gonna do? I see your friend shares your misguided ideals. But unlike him, you should know better. Oh, oh, you're gonna talk to them and not me? Oh, you... Oh, you cheeky little dick piston. I, I wanna... I, can I punch this motherfucker? Can I punch this motherfucker? By espousing such barbaric notions, you subvert the teachings of Charlian and place all we have worked for in jeopardy. Alfino, Alizé, as of this moment, you shall no longer bear the name of Leveilleur. Uh, Excusez-moi? What? Father. How you choose to live your lives is no longer my concern. If you wish to walk the path of ruin, I will not stand in your way. Master Fulchino, while Charlian may have no intention of intervening in this conflict, we can still part as friends. Will you not stay and speak with us, that we might learn of Charlian's hopes for the morrow? I don't want to talk to this motherfucker. <laughs> I have said what I came here to say. Any further discussion would be meaningless. Father, wait! Don't bother, Alizé. How can you stand there and watch him walk away? How can you let this happen? <laughs> he can. And he's going to. Because we all know that dick piston don't deserve it. Well, it's official. I don't like that motherfucker. At all. I reserve judgment. Reserve judgment all you want. It's going to take a hell of a lot for him to freaking redeem him himself in my eyes. Anyways, let's talk to Alice. I don't know why you're surprised. I'm not. This was, this was the cut. This was the cut scene that could have, pr could have endeared me to him. I set the bar insanely low. Let's just say that. Anyway. So that's what he came here to say? That we're all fools for having the temerity to defend ourselves against the Soloferi? And as for the rest... Like it or not, this was the form's decision. To watch from afar while Eorzea burns. Father was but the messenger. And as he handed down their judgment, I could think of nothing to say that could possibly sway him. I... Still can't. To have prolonged the discussion would have changed little, for it is not only Master Falchinald who must be persuaded, but the Forum as a whole. Their decision was made ere your father crossed the sea. Nor is it like to be changed. 
And so we shall face the Talophori without their aid. Forgive me, but if they had no intention of helping us, then why would they go to the trouble of sending an envoy in the first place? Why did they not simply keep their counsel as they are wont to do? Chris, has Master Fauchinal arrived yet? Yeah, we just talked to the dick. Then it is as I feared. My efforts were in vain. I pleaded our case to as many foreign members as I could, but they flatly refused to discuss the matter. No, that's not exactly true. I should rather say that they ignored every word I said on the subject. Without exception. It was almost unnerving. Could it be that they are hiding something from us? That might go some way to explain Master so Fortunault's performance. When he said that they would know if the final days were truly upon us, they dismissed it as pride. I dismissed it as pride. But what if they genuinely believe that they now they know how the world will end and simply disagree with us about the circumstances? That I don't know. But something tells me they are not as unco But something tells me they are not as unconcerned about the Tolophoroi as they claim. If the threat weren't real, why else would they be so standoffish and, and secretive? I would very much like to delve deeper into this, but I'm afraid I've exhausted every avenue of inquiry. Nor have I fared any better with my other mission, researching Heidelin in the Ethereal Sea. I tried enlisting the help of experts in the field, but it appears the forum has forbidden anyone from cooperating with us. Obstructed at every turn. So it would seem... But don't lose heart just yet. With all the knowledge and acquaintances we have between us, we can still find a way forward. To that end, I would like you all to join me here, when the time is right, of course. I am aware that matters in Eorzea stand on a knife edge, but with your permission, I can at least start making the necessary arrangements. I've always wanted to visit Charlien. And so you shall, albeit under less than happy circumstances. It may take a while to secure entry for you all, but I'll let you know when everything is in order. Look after yourselves in the meantime, won't you? Your speculations give me cause to hope. Yet if these seeds will bear fruit, I cannot say. While it is possible the Charlians hide some secret truth from us, there can be no certainty that it is that its exposure will prompt in them a change of heart. And so, for the present, we must needs confront the plight in which we find ourselves. The form has refused our request for aid, and it falls to us alone to contend with the Telophori. Even with all of Eorzea standing united, there is no guarantee that we will prevail. What does Charlian intend to do if we fail? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna take skill speed only because I've been running around as a uh, machinist a lot more often. Alright. We've got one more quest. But before we do that, we're going to take a quick break. For those of you watching on Twitch, stay tuned. For those of you watching on YouTube, if you like this video, hit the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel by clicking here and click the bell icon for notifications. Click here to watch more. Click here to watch the previous episode. And click here to watch the final episode of the main scenario of Final Fantasy XIV, Shadowbringers.